Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this warm building. This is the First United Methodist Church of Fort Worth. My name is Robert Stovall. I'm the Director of Music and Worship Arts here. Welcome to tonight's final choir, uh, the Gift of Music concert series, the choir portion of this. This is our third year to have this Gift of Music concert series. Throughout these three years, we've had many tremendous choral programs that have blessed us with their beautiful music. The leadership by their directors, the wonderful music they bring to us, we're very fortunate to have that in this sanctuary. Tonight is no different. We have three outstanding programs that you're gonna be able to hear tonight. Each one of them very unique, and you're gonna hear that in their music. First of all, tonight, we have from Flower Mound, the Marcus High School Chorale under the direction of Wes Davis. And that's gonna be followed by, from South Lake, the Carroll Senior High School Chorale under the direction of Paul Doucette. And then a return engagement. This will be the second time in the concert series that we've had the University of North Texas, their a cappella choir under the direction of Alan Hightower. The first choir, Marcus, Marcus High School Chorale. They've had many accolades come their way. You'll see that in your program. Two of them I want to bring to your attention. Twice they have been to convention, the Texas Music Educators Association Convention and the American Choral Directors Association Convention, the highest honor you can gain. Wesley Davis is their director, and he's in his ninth year at Marcus High School, and this is his fourth as the head director. Again, you will see the accolades that have come his way, but there's one I want to bring to your attention. In 2015, West was the recipient of the Texas Choral Directors Association Young Director of Distinction Award, a very, very high honor. So ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear outstanding music tonight, and let's start it off with the Marcus High School Chorale under the direction of Wesley Davis.
I don't think there's anyone left at Flower Mound Marcus High School because they're all right here. <laughs> How about another round of applause for this wonderful crowd? Our next choir this evening from Carroll Senior High School, it's the Chorale under the direction of Paul Doucette. The Chorale is the preeminent vocal ensemble of Carroll Southlake ISD with nearly 200 students in multiple ensembles. The choral program has a long tradition of excellence, of course, and students in the Chorale maintain active performance schedules, both in ensemble members, as an ensemble member and as soloists, performing in their community and across the state and nation and on international performance tours. I believe this weekend several of these folks will be traveling to England, for example. Corral consistently obviously uh, earned sweepstakes awards at UIL and competition have received accolades at festival performances throughout the United States. Paul Doucette, he's in his 16th year of teaching here in Texas. This is his third year as the head director of the Carroll Senior High School Choir. Paul has been, you can read about him, his accolades. He's been very active with TMEA, serving as region chair, uh, base section leader for the All-State Choirs. In fact, he will do that again in 2019. He's a busy man. And so as a result, he's here at South Lake High School, Carroll High School, and he's taking this program one step better. And so we're excited to hear them tonight. Would you please welcome the Carroll Senior High School Chorale under the direction of Paul Doucette.
As I said earlier, this is the final choral series of the Gift of Music concert series we have this year. Can't think of a better choir to be the last choir of this series. University of North Texas Acapella Choir is the university's flagship choral ensemble selected through competitive auditions of more than 1,500 music majors within the College of Music. Members of the acapella choir pursue undergraduate and graduate degrees in music performance, conducting, and education, as well as academic pursuits outside the College of Music. It began in 1938, it's when it was founded, the University of North Texas Choral Studies Department has a long and distinguished history of preparing choral conductors, music educators, and general university students for successful professional careers. Many of the, these students have gone on to teach and lead prestigious university programs. A number of very successful professional and community-based choirs and outstanding public school programs in Texas and across the nation. Additionally, UNT graduates have held important national and regional leadership positions in the American Choral Directors Association and the Texas Music Educators Association. Comprised of eight choral ensembles, the UNT Choral Studies Department offers a broad range of high quality musical experiences for students pursuing degrees in music as well as non-music majors. Alan Hightower, before he came to UNT, Alan had some stints out of state. He was the conductor of the Nordic Choir at Luther College. He also conducted Sam Houston State University, his alma mater, and the Chamber Choir at California State University, Long Beach. But what I like the most is he was the choir director of Odessa Permian in West Texas, where I'm from. <laughs> Alan is a tremendous conductor and just the finest educator you could ever know. We all love him in Texas, and we're glad he's back here in Texas where he belongs. So ladies and gentlemen, let's hear tonight from the University of North Texas Acapella Choir under the direction of Dr. Alan Hightower. Thank you, Robert, and thank you for having us. Thank you to the First United Methodist Church. Thank you to our wonderful colleagues in these two choirs. What a great thing it is. You know, uh, music is so often competitive, and there's nothing wrong. There's a lot right about competitive, because it makes us grow, doesn't it? But, but it's also wonderful as a musician just to sing for one another and just to enjoy the beauty of what we get to do. Thank you all for coming. I'm sure there's some parents. I see some TCU friends who are here as well, and uh, thank you all for being here. Let me, just a word, if you have a program and are looking at this program, and I entitled the first part of this, Fragments from the Mass. So many of you know a little bit about the, 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 the idea of the Mass having the ordinary. There are certain uh, texts that are always sung in the Mass, and so we've taken four movements, but not four movements by one composer, but by four different composer, and put these one next to each other, from the Baltic composer Praulens to the uh, Texas uh, Randall Bass to Mozart of the classical period, and then the Frank Martin Mass. This is an extraordinary Mass, this last piece from which we'll sing the song to's, um, written around 1922, but not performed the first time until the 1960s because it was put away in a drawer somewhere and then found. And then we'll finish our program with two quiet sort of farewell pieces. The Lord is the Everlasting God, written by the former conductor of the St. Olaf Choir of Kenneth Jennings, and then the, the brilliant uh, young composer, Eric Essenvald's salutation. We hope you'll enjoy this part of the program, and I want to say again thank you to Mr. Stovall and the staff and to my colleagues, these wonderful choirs. So we'll begin with the Praulins Kyrie.
just another word about this next piece, this um, Sanctus. One of the things that I prize most as I look to my mu young musician friends, yes, thank you for moving choir, <laughs> is imagination. Did you know, students, that the great scientist Albert Einstein said, imagination, are you hearing me? Imagination is more important than knowledge. Maybe that's true. And I want you, as you hear the opening of this Sanctus text, and the, the, the text is holy, 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 and it talks about the heavens and the earth. And I shared a story with the choir this morning when we rehearsed this piece. I said, you know, you get to use your imagination about what this sounds like. But for me, the opening sounds like the earth has just been created and the planet is still cooling. And you hear as though coming up from, from I don't know, from someplace this quiet call of holy, holy, holy. And then it builds and builds and builds. Yeah, we hope you'll enjoy the Sanctus from the Martin Mass. Close your eyes occasionally and imagine something cool.
Just a bit about the next two pieces as the choir is moving. I don't know about you, but if I know a little bit more about what I'm going to hear, I listen with a different level of interest. The next piece, I talked a little bit about The Lord is the Everlasting God by Kenneth Jennings. As Mr. Stovall mentioned, I had the great privilege of spending uh, a period of time in my life in the Midwest conducting the Luther College Nordic Choir, and I discovered that there's an extraordinary repertoire of music that is particularly unique to the upper Midwest Lutheran tradition. Lots of a cappella repertoire. This next piece is divided into two halves, and we'll be singing the second part for you. The first is bizarre, what we call aleatoric. You, you have no idea what, where the next pitch is going to come from. And the text reads, and some of you will know this from Isaiah, have you not known, have you not heard, has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? And then we eventually come in with the next part of the text, affirming, if you will, with the Lord is the everlasting God. We hope you'll enjoy this next piece. And then finally, salutation, which will finish very quietly, not with a, a loud shout at the end, but very quietly, almost a prayer to send us all out. So let me say thank you again before we sing these last two pieces.